We gave you um, we gave you three minutes at the start after you got through the first leg and you came through to visit. It was something like three minutes, two and a half, three minutes. And we're thinking, oh, hello, he's gone early. And then uh, they started pegging you back. Tell us about how you're feeling. Oh, I'm, I'm absolutely finished. Uh, that was a hard day. I, uh, I think I yeah, might have gone a bit too early and gave it a bit too much at the early stages. Obviously, three minutes is probably a bit, a bit early at the at the uh, the first checkpoint but uh yeah i just i saw aj coming and i just i couldn't even give it to it i just had to keep my uh just keep it consistent and if he caught me he caught me it's he's a better man but yeah i was lucky to just take a bit more risk on the downhills and yeah manage to hold on to the gap tell me about the uh the descent the red carpet did you was aj with you at that point or you had a clean track no i had a clean track the whole day um I, I saw him just after the, uh, I think it was after the red carpet. Uh, yeah, I, I think it was the um, the second part of the single track. So saw him coming and he looked pretty fresh. So I thought, oh shit, I'm in trouble here. So I was just again, just get, stick to the game plan, try and be consistent and get to the finish. Winners are greeners, Chris, but I've got to say, AJ looks better than you. Have a look at him. He doesn't look so bad. You're doing the shake of the head. We've got our third place rider coming in. There we go. Paul and Paul made some good time too. So, did AJ, let me get this right. You and Paul came through here chasing him on the last leg. Is that right? You came through together? Yeah, me and Paul, uh, Paul Prentice spent pretty much the whole day together, actually. is only on the, the final climb out of uh, Lake Elizabeth that I managed to get a bit of a gap on him. So... Yeah, we were working well together and riding the single track fast and he was leading most of the single track and I was just trying to keep up in his dust trail, but um, yeah. And then you snaked him at the end, you went back, you let him do the dirty work and you snaked him and took off, is that how it went? Yeah, I just, um, I must have been feeling a little bit fresh on the hills, he's a, he's a pretty big unit to get up those hills, so um, yeah, I thought I'd give it to him on the last hill and see if I could um, put a bit of a gap into him and yeah, I didn't actually know we were catching Chris, it was only at the bottom of the red carpet rear that someone said one minute and I thought bloody hell he must have had a flat or something so and I never even really saw him like I think I could hear him sometimes in the single track because it loops around a lot but um yeah I didn't I never really actually saw him till probably the final bit of road and then I could see him in the distance and then it was a bit too late so uh, well there you go